Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take a look at um, some JJ Kale songs. Because they're kind of relatively simple ones, we're going to cover a few tunes in part one of this lesson on JJ Kale. Um, so we're going to dive straight into one of his simple tunes, which is called Crazy Mama. The tune is in E, E major. So that's 3rd um, string, 1st fret and 4th and 5th on the 2nd if you're not sure of an E chord. Okay, that'll be up there as well if you can't see exactly what's happening. So it's just, the song is based largely, um, that E chord keeps running through the whole song. And the only other thing to think about in it is the change, which is a B minor, which is that chord. An A major and back to E major. Okay, now the, the only other thing really to know about it is that when it plays the E major, you have this kind of riff going. Okay, and all that is 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 the little finger going, so it's open first time, then the little finger goes on the second string of the second fret, then the second string of the third fret, so you have that sound, then back to the second, so it's going So it's off, second, third, second, off, second, third, second, off, second, third, off, like that. And that kind of runs through the whole tune, yes, yeah? so it's just... type of idea. Crazy mama, where you been so long? And then when you hear the change, it's B minor, A major, Basically that's all the song does really, it just repeats and it goes round and round that figure, yeah, so it's the E. You'll hear, as I often say, put the record on and have a listen and you'll hear those changes, they're quite obvious and that's all there is to it, okay? So I thought I'd start the tutorial with that one as it's a quite a simple track. So let's move on to another one of JJ's numbers. Okay, so the second one I'm going to look at is another quite straightforward number of JJ's, is Call Me The Breeze. This one is in A major, um, and I'll just play a little bit of it to remind you of how it goes, if you're not too sure, you can't remember. And then I'll come back and I'll break that down for you. Okay, so it starts in A, it goes... <laughs> And that's basically what it does throughout the tune, um, just goes round and round that figure, yeah? So what we have there is we have like a kind of starts in A. Now, although it looks like I'm barring all those notes there, I'm really only playing the um, fourth and fifth strings on the right hand there, yeah? 
So that's all we're really worried about. So we can just play the... And so this third finger is going on and off the fourth string on the fourth fret, yeah? So we're going, we've got a... That type of idea, yeah? So as I say, it's between the second and the fourth frets, they're just on and off, so... So you're trying to get that feel. So goes to the D, we're just playing the third and the fourth, so we have... And again, This finger's going on and off the third string, the fourth fret. Back to the A. Then we go to the E. And that's really all there is to it. Yeah, it's, it's quite a useful little riff that because it's used quite a lot in, in, in lots of blues and lots of JJ and lots of songs generally really. Now you'll notice, I've mentioned this on several of my lessons, that I'm not just playing... Which you can do. It's not like it sounds bad or anything. I prefer to damp it and I do that by just resting the edge of my palm here near the bridge on the strings so we get this kind of deadened sound yeah so it's a tighter sound and a, a kind of tighter feel okay so bear that in mind when you play it so you get more of a Okay, so that's Call Me The Breeze, so there's two numbers that we've looked at there, pretty basic tunes, but great to kind of develop some rhythm guitar playing. Okay, so let's move on to another one now. The next one we're going to take a look at is called Don't Wait, it's another fairly straightforward one. It's in E, and it uses the dampening like we've already discussed. So you've got an E, where we only play the top two strings for the E, the A, fifth and fourth strings is all we play and for the B it's just the fifth and the fourth strings we play again okay so irrespective of what it looks like I'm doing with my fingers for example there it looks like I'm playing a whole bar I'm actually the only note that matters is this fifth string here on the second fret yeah for your E so you want your E going your A doing the same kind of thing so it's 2-4, alright so on the E it's the 5th string going between the 2 and the 4th fret like that, so it's and on the A it's 4th string we're concentrating on but we're playing the 5th as well so it's just the 5th and the 4th string and the B now it looks like I'm playing a full, and I am, but I'm only playing the fourth and fifth strings. Okay, so that's the chords. The actual song starts with an intro. On the second string, it plays eight, seven, five. There, your first three notes. Eight, seven, five, and then you've got seven, six, four on the third string. And then you've got 5, 4, 2 on the 4th string and 5, 4, 2 on the 5th. So if you put it all together, you have... And then you're into the E. Alright, one more time. 7, sorry, 8, 7, 5, 7, 6, 4, 5, 4, 2, 5, 4, 2. Only the feel of it is more. Okay, 
Okay, now we're into the main main pattern of the song, okay? So we have it B. So it starts in A. And B. Back to A. A. B. 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 Alright, I'll play that again for you kind of slowly. So you got E, B, back to E, A, E, B, E. All right, now I'll play it a couple of times. So you can play along if you if you feel like having to play along with it and things like that. As I often say, put the record on, go through it and play it using this technique and you'll find you're thereabouts, okay? So I'll just play it a couple of times for you so you can try and play along with that groove, okay? And that's essentially it really. So I hope this has been of some use to you. It's the first in a series of JJ because I really quite like a lot of his songs and they're great for beginners and advanced players really because there's so much in them, there's so much space. So once you can play the rhythm, you can lay a track down and then try playing some lead over it. It's great for that type of stuff. As ever, if you have any comments, I always appreciate those. And if you have any particular J.J. Kale songs you'd like me to look at in the second part of this lesson, then leave me some comments below and I'll check that out. Thanks very much for watching. If you find it useful, uh, as usual, maybe click on the like or the subscribe. I'd appreciate that very much. And thanks again for watching.